I can enter the All studio. right, we are live. Hello, hello, everyone. This is Jen with Jen's Den Art. And we are going to be painting a tree of freedom today. I am an acrylic artist, and I would like to welcome you to my live studio here today. And we have someone helping us with the comments. And that is my husband, Michael, back here. And Sugar looks like she wants to help as well. So say hello when you get on. I am streaming in um, a lot of different places today. Um, probably about six different places. So um, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know what's been going on. Hello, hello, everyone. All right. All right. So are we ready to get started? We have a lot of exciting things happening today. I don't know if you saw it or not. It's in the comments. And um, I should have given it to Michael to post in the in the feed as well. So I am going to be live on Pinterest TV. For those of you who did not know that Pinterest TV is a thing, Pinterest has started a TV program for um, visual creators. And the TV program is um, live every third. Well, it's live 24 seven, I think. And it's just one new presenter every 30 minutes to an hour. And I will be live today on Pinterest TV. Let me see if I can get the link for Michael to share with y'all. Oh, no. I gotta, do you have I, your phone? I, I do not. I do have a laptop here. Okay. Um, let's see if I can. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to send it to you, I guess, in an email since you don't have your phone. Where is your phone? Upstairs. You don't know where it is. It's upstairs. <laughs> okay. I um, didn't know I was supposed to have my phone. All right. So that's the link that you need to put in the comments for me. All right. So okay. let's, or Cindy, maybe you have the link that I put in my Facebook page um, and you can pin so that you can get a reminder that I will be live at 5 p.m. Central tonight on uh, Pinterest TV. Now, it is what they call an immersive live which means that um i'm gonna see if i can find it real quick which means that i will not have the opportunity to speak during the live it is only going to be um i'm oh, sorry <laughs> it's only gonna be here here we go i got the link and i'm gonna put it in the comments however the comments for Streamyard. That I'm, that's going to show up here is only on Jen's Den Art page and YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Well, Cindy said it, she can do it. Okay, because it doesn't show in groups. Well, she did it. I did. I just did it. Oh. Well, maybe Cindy got it too. So um, if you want to if you want to help me, Cindy, I have in, I'm streaming right now in um, a bunch of groups. So if you can maybe stick it in all those other groups as well. So, yeah, that's happening at 5 p.m. Um, Central Time tonight. I am so excited. And I am going to be painting the Barnyard Bliss painting, but I'm going to be painting it on a small, like an 11 by 14 or a 12 by 12 or something like that. So it's not going to take as long. And I have an hour to paint. So it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited for it. Anyway, what I wanted to do today is to come on live with all of y'all and give you all a little bonus painting for the month of May. And hello from Australia. So glad you're here. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because today is the last day that I am going to be live in this studio. Forever. Forever. As soon as I finish this live, actually, I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. As soon as we get out of uh, the lives that I have planned today, this shop is being shut down. Everything is being packed up and we are 
moving to Louisiana. So um, today is kind of like a sign off day for Jen's Den Art in Montana. And the next time you see me live um, will probably be either in a hotel room somewhere across the country or we'll be in Louisiana at my son's house until we can move into our new house. So come and join us for the journey. I always like to give you um, stories on my Instagram stories and on my Facebook stories so you can follow the journey. We are driving across the country. We're taking off on May 31st. And um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So hello, Miss Linda. Hello, Robbie and Glenda. Glenda asked what time? Uh, what, what time for about? what? The Pinterest Live yes. is at 5 p.m. Central. And it's, you can't really find it unless you use my pin. For some reason, it's like really hard to find the live Pinterest TV. Um, I think it might be Pinterest.com slash TV slash live. I'm not sure, but it's really hard to find where the Pinterest TV is. So if you can find it, that would be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be painting this on a 12 by 12 today. This was an original painting on an 11 by 14. But like I just said, I am um, packing up. So I don't really have all of my canvases out with me right now. So we're just going to use this one that I do have. And the background is not going to be painted. We're just going to leave it white, just like it is. So the colors that I'm going to use for this and I'm going, this is my materials. I'm going to use these little cups. So I'm going to use a red, any kind of red you want. Okay, this is a cadmium red deep hue. I'm going to use, of course, white. Where's my white? Oh, Leona has a, a statement. What's that? If you go to Pinterest, they have a picture of a TV. If you press that TV shows, or if you press that TV, it shows, the TV shows comes up. Yes. Okay. The other day, mine didn't show that. If, are you talking about the Pinterest app? Let me see. I did not mean to do that. See, mine doesn't show that for some reason. So supposedly when you go to the Pinterest app, you're supposed to have, you're supposed to have a TV show up right here on the, on the left, like she a little TV yes. screen, but mine doesn't have that. I don't know why. Wow. So... I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I don't know if it's a glitch or or what, or if I it just has maybe it's just being rolled out. Let's see if I go there. See, I don't have. Let's see. Watch. Nice no, idea. I don't know. Mine just doesn't show up. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and paint the other color. I'm actually going to use two blues. I'm going to use a Payne's gray, which is like a navy blue. And then I'm also going to use a cobalt blue. Um, and I'm probably going to mix these two together as well. Because if you notice, I have some darker blues and some lighter blues in here. So these are the main colors. Oh, and also black. I'm also going to have black. Just okay. so everyone can see that comment. That's how candy got in. I got right in by searching for your name after I used the link you gave us. Yay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm going to put some black on my canvas and I'm going to put some white and there is no template for this. This is just going to be a fun, splashy, 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 fun painting. Okay. We're going to need a paintbrush. Any kind of paintbrush, I'm going to use this. This is like a medium sized filbert brush. Okay. And that's what we're going to use to make our tree. Okay. And then we are going to use some water as well. One of these little cups, I'm going to put red. One of these little cups, I'm going to, I wish I had another cup, but I don't. All I have is three. I'm going to put a Payne's gray. One of these little cups, I'm going to put the bright blue. And then I'm going to take some water. Now, I have just a spray bottle, and I'm just going to spray it a few times. 
in each one of these. You don't want too much water, okay? And then I'm gonna stir these up just with whatever you have. I'm using an old palette knife that I have right here. I'm gonna stir that up. And I'm gonna make just like an, kind of like an ink consistency. See how it's, might need to make it a little. Oh, and some paper towels. Always have paper towels around. I'm clean that off. Let's mix this one up. This one's a little bit too bright for me. I'm going to put a little bit of that Payne's Gray in there. Stir it up until you have a nice ink consistency. That's a much prettier color. I grabbed a little pinch of Payne's Gray. I think I need a little bit more water. Okay, and so I'm just stirring that one up. That one's kind of thick, huh? Yeah. Just add a little bit more water. Anybody have any questions yet? Not yet, baby. Hello, Tracy. Hey, Carrie. I can see y'all names showing up. All right, this is... This is a much thicker paint, I guess, because it's taken me a little bit longer to make it. It's actually not. It's the same exact brand paint, but this one's just taken a little bit more water. Okay, you can see kind of like the consistency of that. All right, and then let's stir this one up. Y'all know I love Payne's Gray. It's one of my favorite colors to use in my paintings. I actually use Payne's Gray in almost every one of my paintings. I'm not sure why. Would y'all consider Payne's Gray my color? Maybe I need to create a color similar to it called Jen's. Jen, what's Jen's the color? Um, the one that we're going to be using today is 12 by 12, but the one that I did the original piece on is um, 11 by 14. And I actually, personally, I like the 11 by 14 better because of the dimensions that it gives the, um, the artwork. Like, it, you know, you can, you can have that horizontal view and um, you can make the tree, see how I made the tree kind of bend down over here and the tree went off to the right. Okay, so we're going to recreate this, but we're going to use a... Um, we're going to use a square 12 by 12 today instead, and we're going to see how that's going to work. So now that I have my paints mixed, I'm just going to start with a tree trunk, and I'm using a paintbrush. And I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the water just to get it moist. Linda and says burnt sienna and umber brown. Or my, or my colors, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to, um, I'm just going to sketch out a tree here. And I want the trunk of the tree to kind of like stay on the surface. So my goal is the right side is going to be darker. So I'm going to do more of the black <laughs> on this side. Faye says hooker green. Oh, yes. I love that color, too. <laughs> Hooker's green. Okay. So this is just the first layer. And this is what we call the tree of freedom because we're doing it just in um the very bottom people cannot see what you're painting oh okay thank you actually thank you Linnell. could you not see that 
Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, am you, I going to have to fire you already, did, Michael? Did you see it? Uh, no, I was painting. I was answering questions. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to have to fire him already, huh? Y'all know that old nursery rhyme? Don't throw me in that briar patch. <laughs> I have a lot to teach him. He's going to be working with me when we move to Louisiana. Are y'all excited? I am. I'm uh, I'm very excited. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we do. Oh, thanks, Judy. Let what me did, post that. What did Judy say? There it is. Judy said, what? I think he can stay. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet, Judy. I think he can stay, too. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> We're just going to post all these great comments about Michael. <laughs> See, you like that feature, huh? Uh, I accidentally hit it and I was like, oh, what's up? <laughs> okay, so I'm just making some, um, we're going to have to like redo some of these branches as we go. But we're just going to start, we're going to start here. And then we're kind of, we're kind of have to go kind of like back and forth and back and forth. Branches. No branches. I mean, a splatter. What do y'all want to call that? Splatter. We're getting ready to do a splatter painting. I'm just making some branches off of the base. So someone asked, how's the move coming, Jen? The move is coming um, pretty good. It's kind of crazy because we're still kind of in the dark on whether or not the uh, the buyers that are buying this house, they had to do an additional appraiser. They had to have an additional appraiser come out and reappraise the house. And um, so I kind of, we, we're kind of stressed about it because no one ever let us know what the final appraisal was and if we're still going forward. But the only thing we could figure is, no news is good news, right? Isn't that the saying that my mom used to say that all the time? Hopefully your mom <laughs> knew real estate. <laughs> my mom, it, when, when I moved off to college and she wouldn't hear from me in a few, you know, a few days or a week or so, she'd say, well, I always thought no news was good news. So I'm, I'm guessing we're still closing on a, on Tuesday. <laughs> If we're not closing on Tuesday, do y'all know how crazy that will be? I'll have to go back to work and say, I was just joking. Here's the plaque back. I'll I'll make you food. <laughs> I'm actually coming back to work. Whew. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's like we just don't, re we're not in the know. We're just like, we're being sent, like we got the title commitment and we're being sent the information, like everything's still moving forward. So I guess everything's still moving forward. Montana handles things differently than Louisiana. When I, when we sold houses in Louisiana, you show up at the closing with the, with the, the buyers and the sellers show up together at the same table with the lawyer and the title company. And you sign the papers and after one, you know, after we sign, and, you know, after the buyer signs, no, after the, the seller signs, then the seller gets their money and then the buyer sign. OK, and it all happens in the same day. They don't do that here. We have to go at a different time and a different day before the buyers to sign the selling papers. And we're never going to meet them. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Don't you think that's kind of weird? How does your state do it? Let us know. We want to know how real estate works. Okay, so this is where we're going to start with our tree. Nothing special, just a lot of like little branches coming off. All right, I'm going to clean that paintbrush. Cindy says that's weird to her too. Yeah. Well, okay. you guys will know if we uh, go live this uh, coming Monday, then you know it didn't go through. <laughs> We're going to be like, uh-oh, let's start unpacking. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, see, that's what I'm thinking, Miss Glenda, but we're not going to mention any names or anything. We're just going to go with the flow. All right, the first thing we're going to do, this is going to take a long time. New Mexico does it like that as well. Huh, same thing as face, uh, Arkansas. Okay, we're going to start with the darker color, the, the really dark navy. And I'm taking a fan brush. This is the way I like to do it. There's a lot of ways to do this, but this is just the way I like to do it, okay? And this is, a, this is actually a long process. And watch out because you're going to get splatter all over everything. So have an apron on like I do here. So what are you and doing? Did you tell so me? I'm going to take another um, paintbrush and I'm going to use it as what I'm going to hit. I'm going to tap and I'm going to start making some sprays. And notice I'm going mainly on the left side because I want that side to be most of the dark blue, although it almost looks black. I'm just going to start. Y'all see the consistency of this paint? It really works well like that. Let me show it to you again. It's kind of drippy, drippy, drippy. Can y'all see that? See, it's kind of thick. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this right away, um, on the actual painting, then grab like an old piece of paper or something and just let it do its thing. You know, like try it out first. I'm just taking a bunch of it and dripping it now. Linda says she loves this. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with that layer. And then I'm going to take my, my little handy dandy. Well, I don't have my blow dryer in here anymore. I packed that up. So I'm going to use my little heat gun and see if that'll work. I have to dry it somewhat. I'm adding a little bit of white because I feel like it looks too black. Don't y'all feel like that? Cassie says, be careful, it's now a heat seal. I know, right? I'm kind of worried about that too. But I don't have my blow dryer out. Okay, so I added a little bit of white to kind of make it just a little bit lighter because it's looking, it's looking way too um, black. And then I'm going to come back just a little bit. There we go. That's a prettier color. So it's got kind of a grayish color to it. What is she doing? She's licking her. She's cleaning her feet. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to clean my um, my paintbrush off that I just used. And I'm going to use it now because I like the way this paintbrush works. I'm going to use it in the red. I'm going to skip the blue for now because I want to give it a little bit more time to dry. And I'm going to start. Facebook won't let you say the G word. What's they the have G shut word? down some crafter pages for saying that. So say heat tool. 
Oh, you can't say G U N. Oh, you uh, gotta be joking me. That's so, crazy. Okay, so tool. Heat tool. The heat tool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know that. <laughs> Thank you. That is, that is good stuff. That's good yes. to know. That's very good to know. All right, so that's basically all we're going to be doing for the next like 15 minutes until you get it all covered up. So now I'm going to go into the lighter blue. A hot blue melting tool. Hot blue melting tool. Okay, it would be much better. If you could actually um, let it dry in between. And it takes a good amount of time. If you had a, a, a hair dryer, that would work. It takes a good amount of time to get the colors sprayed out like that. You don't like it. What? You said I don't like that. I don't like that. I, I'm not being able to dry it in between oh, the layers. Okay. Okay. You pack that thing up, huh? Yeah. I did. I started. I started packing up stuff, and that was one of the things that I didn't think I was going to need anymore. But I guess I was wrong. Okay, so my focus is most of this is going to be the red, and then most of this is going to be the blue. And then in between, I'm going to also add, let's go down here. Who froze up the dye? I'm going to mix them a little bit also. I'm going to put a little bit more red over here, but most of the red is going to go over here. And then let's make some white. And let's splatter some white as well. Now, I don't have another one of these little bowls, so I'm just going to mix it up on my little palette right here. Let me see. Here's my water. Here it is. I'm going to put some water on my palette. A little squeeze of white in there. Curry, I believe that is Ginger's favorite as well. What? Trees are Curry's favorite part of nature. <laughs> Mine Always too. Talking about trees. Yeah, I love trees. So this is our tree of freedom. I figured we would start doing a lot of patriotic stuff over the next couple of months because of the 4th of July and Memorial Day coming up. And so, um, okay, I'm doing the same thing, but now I have white. I'm trying to get it not to blend too much, but I would definitely use a hair dryer in between your layers. So that you can get that. Um, so you can get all of the colors be separated and just fall on top of each other and not mix together. Still a little bit of blue up here.
Let me get some more of that blue. Okay, that's coming out pretty good, actually. Put an eagle in the tree. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so you're just going to keep on doing this for, you know, I don't know, hours and hours. Really? And what we're going to do right now, because I want the tree. See, I want the tree to show a little bit more. So we're going to take a break on the splatter and we're going to go back to the black and white. Now, I would normally wait for this to dry. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back in here. Let me try this again. It's really cool. says when I, I may have to do this outside yeah because if she does it goes on the floor the wall and everywhere else yep okay so i just took a chance and i took some of my thick paint off so i can make my tree come back to life and I'm just going back over where the tree was. And when this is dry, it's not going to be pulling. See, right now I'm making like purple branches because it's so wet. And the blue and the red is mixing together. But once it's dry, this is acrylic paint. So remember, once it's dry, you're going to have to take some time, and let it dry, create your um, your branches again. Jenny, you got a question from Curry on the screen there. Okay. Do you do any more to the flat? Oh, no, I did not yet. But I'm telling you, when we move to Louisiana, I'm going to show you all how to make the really, really, in the tribe, I'm going to show you all how to make the really, really rustic American flags that I that was like my most popular seller when I used to sell them on Etsy. And I'll give y'all my, uh, my secrets because I don't, I don't make them anymore, but I still have people asking me to make them. So I will share all of my secrets to my tribe members. Okay. So just go back over your branches when it's dry. I am not doing what I'm saying I should be doing. But it doesn't look too bad, does it, with the purpley, the purpley branches. I kind of like it. And then I'm going to come back one more time with my whites and my reds and my blues. And I'm going to splatter again. This is just a little bit of white. See how I'm just kind of covering up the branches just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my, I have just a little bit of red left. I really want some more red up here. I'm going to splatter, cover up the branches just a little. I'm just about out of red. And then, so Mona says, so why don't you do it, Jen? Why don't I do no it? Time? <laughs> <laughs> we will, I promise you, when we move to Louisiana, it's going to be so much easier to have a woodworking shop that we can like open the, the, the garage doors to and not have to worry about being in negative 10 degree weather and snow up to our necks. 
So we'll just have to worry about being in 100 hot. degree weather. <laughs> in hot, hot 100 degree weather. I will take 100 degree weather over negative 10 degree weather any day of the year. Any day of the year. <laughs> what an honor for them. What is what is that for? Is that something else? Uh, Curry talked about her granddaughters, oh. five and seven years old, planting flags at the local cemetery on oh. Saturday. Isn't that awesome? Love that. What a great way to teach is have them actively doing something that is inclined to be what the holiday is all about. Yeah. Thanking those for their service. Okay, so I'm almost done. I'm going to use up just the rest of that darker blue that I had. Oh, Nona was talking about why don't you do the big flags like you used to do? Um, because it was it was a lot of physical labor. Like we would make the we would break down the pallets ourselves. Like we would actually go behind restaurants and grab old pallets. Michael would end up working until nine o'clock at night after he would get off of his job, helping me make the pallets. And it required a lot of outdoor work because um, you would have to sand and then you would have to, um, you would have to seal and you would, it's just a lot of outdoor work. And here we don't have the outdoor temperatures to do that work. Are you considering making the big flags when we go back to Louisiana? I am because Michael is going to have more time. So yes, I am. But it's, you know, it's still a lot of work. <laughs> Penny, we're moving back to South Louisiana and we will be back in Louisiana in um, the first week of June. We're moving to a little town right outside of Lafayette, close to our kids, called Orneville. Where are you from, Miss Penny? We've been here three years, Miss Penny, and three years has been long enough. We ready to go back. <laughs> Today is really mild. Kentucky seems like the perfect place. It really does. It's got a little bit of winter, a little bit of summer, and a little bit of all the seasons. I need to stay busy, guys. I'm not going to lie. I, I, that's, that's my forte. If, I, if I'm not busy, then I'm not okay. good. So this, um, this piece would be much better if I would have let it dry in between the layers. And you can see this one that we did originally. It looks pretty bad when you look at it really close up. You live in Maurice. That is right by. <laughs> if you live in Maurice, you probably know my bro my brother in law. He's a Falk, and he's from Mo. So anyway, yes, that's not far from Orneville at all. <laughs> all right, guys, this is our final product. When you look at it from far away it looks a lot better than it does when you look at it close up which is the whole purpose of it so i hope y'all like it this was the original one let me make my screen two two sizes so y'all can see this was the original one and this is oops this is kind of like my new technique wednesday but we're going to call it a um this one's too blurry we're gonna call it a um a new technique wednesday on a tuesday <laughs> i like that since this is our farewell i'm trying to move my stuff out the way since this is our farewell um live before we get to louisiana we will not be in well i'm not in long sleeves today but we will not be in long sleeves and long pants the next time you see us live i promise you <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so come and join me the uh the pinterest live that's taking place at 5 p.m central it is an immersive um live meaning that i do not get to speak i know so you basically just get to watch me paint 
okay? And there's going to be like music in the background. But it is um, it is great publicity and it is great, you know, like I've already gotten like so many extra new followers on Pinterest since they advertise that I'm going live. So I'm super excited about it. Just in time for hurricane season. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We will keep you updated. Follow my Instagram stories at Jen's Den Art or um, my Facebook stories at Jen's Den Art. It's all one word. If you just go on Instagram and you type in the little at symbol, you can put it in the post for me. What, what am I putting? At Jen's Den Art, either Instagram or um, Facebook. You can follow my stories and you'll be able to watch us. I'll put it at Jen's Den Art. Uh -huh. One word at Jen's Den Art. Yeah. That is my, um, oops, I just got rid of it. That is my, um, my, do you keep on doing that? <laughs> I'm trying to put my tagline up there. Michael. I, I just had it up there. <laughs> <laughs> this should be fun with us working together, don't y'all? <laughs> I'm going to get him to paint. We're going to paint live. He's going to start painting live with me and we're going to have some competitions. <laughs> all right, guys. So we will see y'all again soon. <laughs> Love you all. And do you want to end with anything? Yeah, I want to, hey, I want to encourage everyone to be bold about the holiday. And I say holiday, the, the time that's coming up in which we honor those who serve. We honor those who have people and their families that serve. Uh, don't be bashful. Mm -hmm. Be proud of what that flag represents and uh, be bold about it. Because that's actually being bold about Christ. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Yeah. Ooh, sugar. And I do, I, I, I say a lot because Memorial Day is, it's almost a sad time for a lot of people, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Right. It doesn't have to be. It's a time to, to thank and remember those who have served and, um, who have and family members us. who sacrifice for those who serve. That's exactly right. That's right. Mm -hmm. right all right, guys. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Bye. Way to go, Glenda. Bye, guys. Bye.